Ciao video. This show is run by youth, hosted by youth, and aimed to inform youth. We'll give our perspective as true as we know it. We'll also be showcasing some local talent and video shorts. Today my guests are... Hi, my name is Daniel and I am 12 years old. My name is Steven and I am 14 years old. For today's show, we will be discussing the country of Georgia and its recent war with Russia. Georgia is located on the border of Europe and Asia between Turkey and its neighboring Russia, the biggest country in the world. Georgia is one of the oldest countries. It was the first country to adapt Christianity as its official religion in the 4th century. Actually, the oldest bones in Europe are found in Georgia. In 1922, it became part of the Soviet Union for 70 years, but it regained independence in 1991, and since then, the Georgian and Russian governments have had a very tense relationship. It became even worse when Russia helped Abkhazia start the war and separate from Georgia in 1991. Georgia is a democratic country and currently seeks to join NATO and European Union. Now South Ossetia is a conflict zone. This situation had been going on for several years. Ossetia wanted to become independent from Georgia and governments had been negotiating. But suddenly Georgia was attacked but not by South Ossetia but by Russia. Everyone would think that this happened because Russia wants South Ossetia for itself but as Russian officials say, the reason why they attacked Georgia was that, that they wanted to defend South Ossetia and set it free. Since the war, Russia has recognized South Ossetia and Abkhazia as independent states. However, they didn't attack only the border between Ossetia and Georgia. They attacked the whole country, bombed very important places like ports and some of the most populated cities. They almost reached the capital, Tbilisi. This war was devastating, buildings were broken down, a great migration started, and tourists who were afraid of being around the conflict zone stopped visiting the country, which seriously affected the economy. This was a total catastrophe for Georgia. When this war started, American officials and even U.S. presidential candidates supported Georgia, promised to help and really helped. They said Georgian soldiers serving in the Iraq Green Zone free from duty and sent them back to their home country. Do you think that the American government should be taking sides in situations like this, or do you think that they should stay neutral? I think the, gover the government and the state should stay neutral because if we don't, then it will just cause more problems for us and the countries. I think that uh, 
the U.S. should stay neutral and not interact with, well, I think we should interact with the countries, but not pick sides, because if we pick sides with uh, Russia, Georgia won't be too happy, and if we pick sides with Georgia, Russia won't be happy either, and um, it's kind of just best to stay neutral. I think that when there is a serious problem in the world, countries as strong as the United States should always take sides and take and help the country in danger. Have you ever heard about the Republic of Georgia before? And tell us what you know about it. Really, I didn't know anything about Georgia until now, but now I know that it was one of the first to be the first country to have Christianity, and that it was that Russia ruled it and that it was forced into the Soviet Union, which I think is horrible. What I knew about Georgia, I knew it was a country, but I never really explored it into further detail to uh, where I knew that they actually uh, have a large wine industry there. They have several pipelines of natural gas and they use a lot of hydropower and they also have the world's uh, deepest cave in Georgia. Oh, I've never heard about it. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm actually from there. I lived there for my 16 years. Uh, I think that I really know that country and I really appreciate it. it one of, it's one of the most beautiful countries and whatever you're interested in, you can find it in Georgia. We have beautiful beaches, you have, we have beautiful places for hiking, we have beautiful historical places. It's like the greatest country in the world. Georgia serves as a transport corridor for oil and natural gas. It also is a large wine exporter and is a major hydropower producer. If the USA helps Georgia, do you think that we can also expect something from Georgia? Is it a good country to be friends with? I think we should um, expect something from Georgia because they're helping us and we probably get some natural resources. I think we should help out Georgia and if we did, that they would uh, help us because of the hydropower is a big industry over there. And we are really looking for different ways to, how do I say this, kind of spread out the natural resources energy crisis because, yeah. And uh, I think any country is a good country to be friends with, so I think we should help them out. I think that Georgia is a very good country to be friends with because uh, it has many natural resources and also it's close to the conflict zones in Iraq. So if something happens, Georgia will be a really good friend.